Good afternoon, good afternoon, it's Julie Cube from Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia coming to you with a flip cup pour today. I'm um, gonna do a, a, I suppose it's kind of a back to basics with the flip cup pour, I just find that, um, oh, okay, oh. having trouble with the uh, puppy just wanting to get into everything while I'm painting is into all the mischief which is all good fun but when I'm painting I'm kind of trying to keep a bit of an eye on him and see that he's not chewing anything that he shouldn't be. I will add some recent photos to the end of the video so I can give you a update as he's growing um, but he's already to us he's already grown so suppose they grow so quickly just like babies now I'm not sure if I should do four or five they're only the smaller coffee cups um, so maybe I should do five but I just want to mix it up a bit in that I'm gonna do cups in completely odd colors well you'll see as I go along um, the paints today are all of my uh, Montmartre Studio acrylics, but I did add a bit of in in the paints these lovely paints that Stephanie sent to me um, from the US, the primary elements, and she said that I could put some of the pigments in with my uh, ordinary studio acrylics with my pouring medium and it will give them a bit of bling so I've put a little bit of the pigment paints in with my uh, studio acrylics and see when it dries if it gives it a bit of bling otherwise I will try and do something completely on their own with the those paints but this is my lovely aqua blue of um, one of the new colors that have come out with Montmartre so they basically will be the Montmartre so I'll, as I go along I'll explain them to you uh, alright so I've got all my colours mixed up and I mixed them up yesterday or the day before I think so I always like mixing my colours at least at least the day before it just gives me better results so this was the phalo blue and I did add a little bit of this primary, primary elements um, stargazer so I tried to mix contrasting kind of shades in so I just mixed a little bit of the primary, ele primary elements in there so anyway here we go so I'm gonna do every second cup this is a little bit thin, this blue, for flip cups, but I had really good results doing thin, thinner coats with flip cups last week, so I'm going to give it a try. This is the Cerulean, and I did put a little bit of the just the blue sparkle in this one. And again, this is quite thin for a flip cup. So we just see how it all goes. Oops, if you can hear the noise going on outside that somebody is using a whippersnipper or I think in the US they call them a bushwhacker, I'm not sure what you call them in the United Kingdom and a edger, I'm not sure, oh, no, I won't do every second one, this is the lovely aqua, 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 different pronunciations in different parts of the world. So I'll stick with the kind of bluey oceany colours. This one is the Montmartre turquoise and I haven't added any of the primary, primary elements pigment in this. So I'm keeping with the oceany colours in these three cups. I'll put a bit of white in there too. This is just the ordinary uh, brilliant white. Uh, 
and we'll go back to the beginning so I hope you're all having a lovely weekend I think probably by the time I put this video up it the weekend will be over and you'll all be um, back to your normally weekly daily grind so whatever that is at the moment some of you are working from home or retired um, I'm believing that the restrictions have eased all over now um, for many people but so sorry to hear what's going on in the world in other places other than is in Australia some really crazy goings on all over the place so I'm sorry about that uh, just keep safe people keep safe for sure okay yeah I've had a few people comment that they put in a lot of ads on my videos I do um, have AdSense which is ads but I didn't realize they're why they're putting so many on of late I'm not sure because some person said there was like nine ads on one video well, that is crazy so I've tried to message YouTube about it what's going on um, because I, I'm not really crash hot with all of that I don't know how to stop it um, my son's away at the moment one of my sons is away so I can't ask him but anyway I'll try and sort it out so sorry you can skip through them so I'm told there's a little icon there for you to skip through and I oh, absolutely fine if you do that if they're putting so many ads that's a bit over the top um, not sure at all why particularly why I'm being <laughs> targeted for all the ads okay Yes, we went this morning down and had breakfast with a daughter and daughter-in-law and um, down in Coolum Beach. It's on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. It is one of the most beautiful beaches, as are all the beaches along the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. We have absolutely stunning beaches. And it was lovely to go down there and see so many people having picnics and just enjoying the outdoors obviously after so long not being out, able to be out um, going back now I'm going to the so it's kind of gonna end up hopefully to be like a beachy pour so those are my beachy colors um, now I'm going to the gold silver and um, sienna to kind of make like a beachy look beachy in a flip cup um might add a bit of the so that's the montmartre gold which is really blingy and lovely this is the burnt sienna and i added a little bit of the gold in that so it's really nice and shimmery shimmery shiny in there really nice i like it so that's the burnt sienna i will go back to oh and then i'm putting some silver in here so the silver's really um silver metallic as well as the gold and it's really shimmery so it definitely looks good enough to eat it looks like a caramel sundae oh confession while I was down at the beach I had a little ice cream cone with a we used to call them in England a 99 they were ice cream cone with a um, Cadbury's flake pushed in the top of the ice cream cone when I was young in England and used to have an ice cream van they were called a 99 so there you go anybody from Europe will know what I'm talking about a 99 
and it's uh, go, go. No, I'll go back to the silver just top it off with silver so it's got my metallics in this one I'm not sure whether to do one whole side no I'm gonna I'm gonna do it the way I was gonna do it so I'm still thinking because I'm not actually tr heading on trying to make it look like a beach but it's just beachy colors so I'm just going with that that I feel that's fine for the minute so so I'll move the cups so I don't knock them over because I'm clumsy um, and I'll start off over here just be doing my quick flip I'll move them back up the canvas in a second okay guys what's going on don't know what's happening good guard dogs I can see this glistening in the what's happening Bindi hey Bindi Bob what's going on hey letting mommy know someone's about Okay, and push these to the top. Push these up. Oh, they are looking delicious already. Oh my goodness, what gorgeous colours. Okay, here we go, Flo. Let's do it. Just a quick drag. Oops, keep going that way. See, these are runnier mixes, so they're a little gonna be a little bit quicker on the mark than I am, I think. Oh, honey, honey. Look at that gold. It is delish. It really is a beautiful, beautiful gold. Okay, I've got stuff still left in these cups. So I'll just, yeah, I will just pour over the edges around. Absolutely gorgeous. My goodness, let's use that one. What gorgeous colours. Pretty nice. I like them. Remember, it's no no rules. The only rules is there's no rules. They're your rules. So you don't have to do them a certain way. Do them however you choose to do them. So running just a bit of the colour through the other. Wowzers. Wowzers. Trousers. There we go. Wow. I hope those colours are showing up in my uh, camera because they're so sheeny shiny, sheeny shiny, beautiful. It will be interesting to see if these uh, pigments have made any difference to the overall, like it obviously has to be when it's dried, but it's certainly looking all shimmery and glittery. And gorgeous already the colors this will be really nice in a beachy kind of if somebody wants a beachy kind of look in their artwork decor so my son lives down by the beach or oh, two sons live by the beach so they might be getting another one of mommy's paintings <laughs> They don't mind, they don't seem to mind. Or well, they choose the ones they want anyway. Oh, look at that. That's pretty spiffy. I'm liking it. And that's all it has to please. Remember guys, your art, your way. 
don't have to um, conform to anyone else giving you negative feedback you just do your thing be happy because it's actually therapy for us all uh, I'm just going to give this a turn all the way around so I can try and get those other edges covered but I'm pretty happy with that because that gold is staying out there and it's going to be dry quite blingy I'm hoping I must have been a seagull in a past life because no what is it no not a seagull a magpie or whatever it is the bird that loves the bling that's me I'm the bird that loves the bling I'm not going to try and cover that corner because I've got some paint left in the cups so quite liking that I'll just cover with a bit of the colour that I have in the cups and there's plenty of paint that's come off the off the um, tilt so I can use it there but yeah what do you think guys I like it I'm gonna add some heat to it so obviously if you liked it exactly as it is probably don't add any heat because that will bring up the cells in it um, and it, it will it, uh, it bursts any air bubbles in there but it brings up cells for sure and all of this paint is mixed in my normal uh, which my normal pouring medium which is the 70% clear Montmartre glue with 30% warm water that's how I mix mine the recipe and the method is in the drop down box underneath so if you're wanting that that's there I just want to put a line through this to still add some blue to that it's okay gorgeous I like it very nice colors are lovely vibrant okay let's do this let's give it a Trousers, trousers that is gorgeous I love that I'm really happy with that and I'm not doing anything else to it I'm trying to find that little ocean one I did a while ago that I've just oh, it's inside my house because I love it so much there you go I will put some photos on at the end of it let me know what you think but it is really nice kind of beachy shore break type or a island in the ocean let me know what you think if you've got a really nice name for it that would be cool uh, if I, you wanted more cells definitely put the heat over it a bit more but I'm loving that as it is that is gorgeous and in fact if I did a nice really big long one a 1.5 meter canvas which I think I've got up there 1.5 meter by uh, 500 that would look really lovely beachy scene so i like that thank you guys for joining me thank you so much for subscribing to my channel if you haven't subscribed i really would appreciate it if you did um because i don't charge you anything and it's just um helps me keep creating so thank you guys wait till the end and i'll put some photos on of it dried and if you want to join us on our uh, Australian acrylic pouring group on Facebook and you can put your work on there and show us all what you're doing there's lots of really helpful people that help one another and answer usually get answers to questions off each other or off moderators so that's there for you guys um, yeah thank you so much until next time bye for now have a good weekend and keep safe or good week, should I say. Keep safe.